We're in the Roadshow Kitchen on a Friday morning with a guy who we just love. Andrew Williams is here with us. Yeah, you know him as a comedian, but he's also he's also a pretty good cook, too. Oh, well, thank you, Will. <laughs> you are. You do a great job. Black Bean Burgers is what we're putting together. Not just that. Wait. Buckle up, because we're also making some fried pickles, too. And they seem to be... You go out to a restaurant now, yeah. and a lot of times they will... Um, They'll ask you, do you want some of the fried pickles? They'll put them out on the table. Right. At first, I was like, oh, fried pickles, not so much. Now I have them. Oh, God, I love them. I agree. I, I was, love them. I was never really that into them. And I was actually at a chain restaurant, just at the bar, having a beer. Sure. And they came out with a platter of them. And I just, like, followed <laughs> it with my eyes. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, I'm going to try to make those. I've never tried before. And the first time I made them, they came out awesome. Okay. And they're so easy. All right, we're going to hold really you to easy. that awesomeness yeah. and, see, and how, see how awesome they As are. a topping on a burger, yeah. it's great. Oh, so that's what that's what you're gonna I'm do. I'm gonna with put these. them on, on the burger. Okay. Yes. I know a lot of places you'll go and they'll have like a, yeah, a little a dip, dipping sauce dip for you to put in. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna we're do gonna them topped on, the on the burger, um, which we're doing black bean burgers today. Okay. Completely vegan, mm -hmm. which is awesome too. And we've got black beans, of course, shredded carrot, minced onion, some jalapeno. Um, in here, it's spiced already with black pepper, salt, um, and then we're basically gonna process that or just mash it. Right. I use a masher. Okay. So you can do it in your food processor, just don't over-process it. Right. Um, and then we're forming to patties. And anybody who hasn't had black bean burgers before, look, I love a ham, I love a good hamburger, but there really is, if you can make a good black bean burger, yeah. it kind of suits, you know, kind of gets you over over it. And if it tastes really good, you kind of move on and go, you know what, this tastes good. It's 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 And it's better, much better for you. Yeah, I agree. And, like, I don't do the meat, but I if I go to have a cookout or if I go to a cookout, like, right. I'll bring This is the, what you'll put you together? You can freeze the patties, which yeah. is awesome. Sounds good and to I'll me. And I'll show up and... Everybody's happy to see They're it. They're doing All yeah. right. We're going to put this together just a little bit. Andrew's going to be sticking around in our roadie roundup as well. Back to you. We are back with Andrew Williams, who's Chef Andrew Williams today, because he's cooking up a storm in our kitchen. Black bean burgers. You know, we had a chef on yesterday who made a, who added a few black beans into the burger, but they are so hearty and healthy. Yes, and um, it, it actually does look like a beef patty, which is like pretty interesting. But yeah. um, so we've taken all the ingredients that we had mm -hmm. and we mashed them. And it, you can do this in the food processor. It's even faster if you just pulse it quick. I yep. use a fork or a masher and just mash it all up. And, and you then, don't need the food processor though. No. So that's a good thing. Yeah. You, must you, can, piece of you can totally to do it just in a bowl like this. And then you form them. I just hand form these. The trick mm -hmm. with the black bean, not too thick because texture wise and consistency yeah. wise, when they're thicker, they can kind of break apart. And I go just about that thickness on them. Okay. And the other Great tip. important tip for making these, if you can, refrigerate or even stick these in the freezer for a couple hours before you cook them. That way they really hold together. They'll stay right. nice and firm. If you throw them on right as you form them from here, mm -hmm. they might fall apart. Right. Um, also, I make these vegan, so I don't incorporate any egg or anything like that to bind them. So what is binding them? This is just the black beans. Just the beans themselves. And exactly. There is liquid in the black bean that kind of acts as a binding agent, which is awesome. Okay. And then it's just the herbs and the um, onion and shredded carrot. There's nice. so many different things you can incorporate. We also have jalapeno in that too, so it doesn't have a little mm, kick to it. Yeah. That sounds good. You threw it on the skillet And I threw there. it on the skillet, yeah. No, and because, I mean, you really could just take a fork to this and eat it, and it would totally. be perfectly yeah, safe. It's not. So how much time do you suggest? I this? would say two to five minutes on each side. They take a little bit longer than, say, cooking a medium to, mm -hmm. you know, rare burger. But, um, you know, it, a great tip, instead of using an actual spatula, I use these little offsets. Oh, yeah. And I get right People in there. People have those for, you know, decorating the cakes. Yeah, look at that. I but mean, it looks nice like a burger. Yeah. Color. And it gets a little crisp on the outside, mm. and it's You want it's that, great. though, when you bite into Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Bit of a yeah, crunch. I I love that. Speaking of crunch, we're going to do some frying when we come back. We are. I've got the oil heated up here. We've got our pickle chips floured. I love pickles. Yes. Anyway, just right out of the jar or fried, and that's what we're going to do with Andrew in just a bit. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen, and Andrew Williams is very, very busy. Black bean burger, uh, bean burgers is what we're making with fried pickles. He's everywhere. Him. He's, busy. He's all over the place. <laughs> How can I help? <clears throat> we are... Pretty much plating these bad boys right now, but right. these are the fried pickles. Mm -hmm. They're just in seasoned Ooh. flour. I use gluten-free flour, mm -hmm. because why not? Um, and I put cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, mix it up, and those actually can get popped right out now. Dude, those look That's awesome. Right. And they get super crispy. Yeah, they do. And we've got them on the black bean burger, in the black bean burger with barbecue sauce. I'm gonna steal one of those. Sure. And... Yep, put that there on is there. barbecue sauce Ooh. inside. 
uh, as well. In the, in the burger, in the burger yep. Look at and how good that looks. That looks delicious. Very there we go. Presentation. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah. Now these, the black, you, you have one here. Yeah. How long do you put this on for to kind of like cook it? Yeah, I go about four to five minutes on each side. All right. Forty-five yeah. minutes. No, four to five. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> You'd have a nice little break <laughs> at the end. Yeah. There. yeah. It's really crunchy. That would not be great. Mm, yeah. This is delicious. Um, but I would say between four and five minutes. You can also do these. I didn't today uh, for the lack for not. Making so much smoke, but on cast iron oh, yeah. is really nice, mm. and you get grill marks, and they get a little char on them. I like doing them that way, right. yeah. um, but I did them in just a regular skillet today, so we could not. And, have and it. maybe in a pan, not the grill, so it doesn't drop through. Because you said they they don't always they, they hold. Can, yeah, they can crumble. Perfectly. That's why I like to pop them in the freezer. They don't have to freeze solid, but yep. if you do it up, put them in there. I put them in today for. 45 minutes. And they helped. Yeah. And they were they were perfect. Right. Yeah, they were great. They were the perfect firmness, okay. I would say. Right. Yes. They These look, look really great. They and look I delicious. like that you've kind of made well, I know the fried pickles aren't super healthy. <laughs> but you've made some healthy swaps, and this is great if you're craving a burger, but you're still you know, trying to be mine. Totally. So I'm totally. going to try, I want to have one of these. Go for right. it. So I'm going to take this off because I want to try the. I, I mean, let me just I take this. I was about to grab try this a pickle. fried pickle. Grab a fried I've pickle? Got to I know, but I know they're so hot, but you know what? <laughs> I can't help it. These fried pickles are delicious. Good? I love fried mm. pickles. They're so good. I love them. And so easy then. Mm. I A little trick, I know you can use a oh. thermometer. And for testing mm -hmm. your oil for the temperature. I am not a professional chef, so I don't do that, but I do, if you put a wooden spoon in and you get bubbles around the spoon, your oil is ready to be fried. It's nice really? it is, Yes, that is an easy trick to know when the oil is hot enough. Or now, just have a tester. Yeah. Now, I and love, put it in and go, uh, no. I love a good burger, and I know having hamburgers all the time is mm -hmm. not good for you, so this is much better for you. But even just having this would kind of like suit it for me. Yeah, it would like I do think it for so, me. Yeah. totally. And with all the toppings and the barbecue sauce. You right. got the sauce and the tomato and the yeah. lettuce. You're yeah. not even going to notice And you got a couple of fried pickles on here, so let's, let's Absolutely. We'll dig in here and get give, in this, there. give this a, a shot. What made you think to, to put these ingredients together? What, well, were you yourself? trying to maybe eat I less meat or well, yeah i i gave up eating meat completely it's been almost a year now so i'm wow. always looking for great substitutes and ways mm. to have something that's like a burger or like you know yeah got that so, same like heartiness exactly. and you know what i'm telling you it's Texture. really good it's it tastes delicious in those fried pickles i know, <laughs> I, know I get it i get it they're delicious. But They're really good. But you need a little good. indulgence every yeah. now and then. Yeah, totally. This would do it for me. I'd be like, I would have this and be full and be happy. With oh, this. I'm mm. totally that person mm. that can never just be healthy. Like right. I, if I'm gonna have a salad, <laughs> I'm having French fries with my salad. That's all right. Like I always throw something in the mix. Community yeah. fries are always a good option yeah. when you're so, out to dinner. So you cook. Yes. And then your other gig is uh, your comedian. Too. I'm a comedian. Mm. You're a comedian too. Yes. So are you out, out? I am. I'm actually. I do a really fun show that we call the Raffle House. Mm -hmm. Rolling on the floor. Laughing. On the floor laughing and we yep. we rip off that famous restaurant that's not around here but um, <laughs> we do a great show my friend Rob Green and I right. um, we co-host it and we're actually bringing it to the Comedy Connection Excellent. on Thursday May 4th Fun. and we've got a great lineup of comics on the show Nick Chambers is going to close it mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. and uh, my buddy Chip Petrazic he helps us put the oh, show good. together it's and a lot of fun it's a lot of fun, lot of fun. fun. Lot of fun. fun. all right well we're going to keep eating our burgers and our fried pickles